You know, state control of Kansas City's police department dates back more than eight decades. The 41 Action News I teams, Andy Alcock, takes a look at how we arrived to where we are today. The year was 1939. Tom Pendergast, political machine, controlled Kansas City, including the police department. The state of Missouri came down hard on corruption, which included many police officers being so low paid, they took bribes. The result? A board of commissioners Missouri's governor appointed to run the department. And nearly half of KCPD employees were fired at that time. More than 80 years later, that board of commissioners model is still used today. Here's how it works. The governor appoints four Kansas City residents as commissioners. Kansas City's mayor serves as the fifth commissioner. In 1939, each commissioner was paid $2,400 a year for what was then a full-time job to run KCPD. More than 80 years later, commissioners are still paid $2,400 a year for what's now more of a part-time job. One power the board has is to hire and fire KCPD chiefs. That power was front and center in 2017 when then KCPD Chief Daryl Forte unexpectedly retired. The board ultimately chose Rick Smith as the next chief, a job he still holds. If the board goes away, the city manager would likely take control of the hiring and firing of KCPD's chief, much like what happens with the fire department. The board currently has monthly meetings to have public accountability of what KCPD is doing. It also submits a KCPD budget proposal to the city council, but it's ultimately up to the council to approve KCPD's budget. Proposals to ditch the current system are nothing new. Following the 1968 race riots, then Mayor Ike Davis's Commission on Civil Disorder put out a report that August to prevent a similar incident from happening again. One of those recommendations more than 50 years ago was to get rid of state control of KCPD. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.